Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of The King Chase. I renamed the series by the way in order to avoid any confusion with a series by Matthew Jelic on YouTube which is also named The King Hunt. He has also written a book about it. So just to avoid any confusion I just renamed it to The King Chase. All right, so today I've got quite a challenging example for you. It's the game Topalov against Bareev played in Linares 1994. And by the way, I didn't mention it in the previous videos, but in the description you can always find a PGN to download if you want to maybe start a collection of all the king chases I present here. You can do it, download it, maybe analyze yourself, go through it yourself again, whatever you like to do. All right, so in this position it's black to move and he initiated a king chase more or less, but it's quite challenging so you can take a good amount of time here, please stop the video, try to dive into a position and calculate as much as you can and try to find the win for black at this point. All right, I'm going to show now the move Bariev played was rook to e8. Of course if you exchange queens you don't have much so you somehow want to keep the queens on the board and rook e8 is sacrificing a rook and obviously white has to take the queen is pinned so queen takes. What was the idea? The idea we'll see now. He's sacrificing a second rook with bishop f5. Amazing! And Tobolov also took the second rook. Whatever he does, his position is lost, but well, the queen doesn't have that many squares anyway. Can't go to e3 because of knight g2, obviously. Um, and queen e7, black would just play knight d3 check. Let's say king f1, then just take the bishop on h7. And there's no defense against queen takes h1 and black's just winning. All right, so Topalov took on a8 and how to finish now? So here again you can stop the video and try to calculate to the end the whole sequence of moves here. Still you have to do some work. Okay, if you're ready you can move on. Queen e4 check. It's very precise here. Gives this check. And now Topalov play king f2. Queen, king d2 would be pretty much the same thing. Also queen g2 check is most precise. And after king e3 we reach the position in the game. And after other moves, let's say um, king d1 is queen c2 check. King e1, knight d3 check. King f1, queen f2 mate. And um, king e1 is knight d3 check, king d1, bishop g4 check, and mate in the next move. All right, so top half tried king f2, but now as well, queen g2 check, king e3, and now the king is chased in the open. Knight d5 check, king d4, only move. Queen d2 check, king c5. But now... How did he finish it? How did he made it the king very soon here? One last exercise. Again, you can stop the video and try to finish it. All right, uh, the point is that black can now give this check on e3 because white cannot take the knight because of bishop e6 mate. And after king c4, now knight b6 check and at this point actually um, to part of resign. It's not because his queen is hanging on a8, it's more because his king is hanging or rather being mated. For example, king b5, queen d3 check, king a5, queen d5 check, king b4, queen c4 check. Queen is slowly getting closer and now delivering the checkmate on a4. Very beautiful play by Bareev, sacrificing two rooks in order to distract the queen. Um, so the queen was far away in the corner, then the king was all alone and was chased down with the three pieces, queen, bishop and knight. Very impressive play by Bareev. 
I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week with the next example. Bye.